What's up, everybody? My name is Rishrat, and today we're going to be making an infectious system, kind of like COVID-19. Uh, I hate to say it, but that's what we're going to be making. Uh, if you guys want to have some events in your game, where well, that does happen. Uh, but let's get this video up to like 30 likes. Can we get it up to 30 likes? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so as soon as you load in, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and insert a screen GUI. Now, this screen GUI is very simple. It's just, I'm going to name it infected UI. And I'm just going to put a text button or a text label, sorry. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not even going to rename anything. I'm just going to cut it, put it in the server storage. That's it right there. Done with that. The UI is just to indicate that we have been tagged. Now we're going to go ahead and cut to the starter player. Now you guys need to understand that the starter character and starter player are two different things. The character is the physical character. The player is what the game sees. It's the actual player. So we're going to go ahead and go into the starter character because we're going to be touching each other. We're going to go in and we're going to insert a local script. Go and open that bad boy up. And it's just one script. And we're going to say local players equals game get service players. We're going to get the player service. And we're going to go say local player equals game dot players. We could also say players, but I like to do it this way. Local player dot character. Make sure it's a capital C. And we're gonna say if players get player from character. And we're gonna skip a line here and we're gonna go ahead and say player wait for child humanoid. Now the reason we use a wait for child here is because we can't say first find first child. It's basically the same thing. But this waits for it to be instantiated inside of your game. So if people have slow PCs, this makes up for it. And what we're going to do is we're going to say dot touched. It's just going to be a built-in touched function. Say hit. You know our typical hit. Say if hit dot parent. Now if the hits parent, in this case we're referring to another player child humanoid I did a parenthesis uh, when I do if statements you guys can just ignore that because I'm C sharp speaking of C sharp I am also a unity developer and I'm creating a game called Koji you guys should totally check that out I'll leave a link in the description to my website and you guys can find Koji on the website and we're going to say get player from character. We're going to say hit up parent. Find first child is infected. Mem remember to keep your spelling consistent if you're going to change anything from my code. I say and players get player from character. And we're going to go ahead and move it over player so you're probably wondering why i i get Rishra, if i get why you have the first if if the uh if the player is not infected but why do we have this and here the and means that if we are infected ourselves because when i first designed this it was if the player touches another player and they're not infected then we can infect them but that wouldn't totally make sense because we have to be infected ourselves. So we're going to say local infected PLR equals player players. Sorry. Get player from character. Hit dot parent. So the infected player that we're going to get is the whoever we hit. We say local int value, which I'm just going to name it int value. You guys can name this variable, whatever instance.new we're going to create an int value yes you guessed it it's not going to be a bool value just kidding it's going to be a bool value 
I just named it int value because I thought it was. Uh, you guys can change this variable to bool value or whatever you want. You say it is infected, whatever you guys want. And the second parameter here is the parent of the actual of the actual instance. So we're going to say the infected player. Nice. And we're going to say bool value dot name is going to be you guessed it is infected int value or when you say bool value I don't know why I keep having the int values on my mind I just to say true you don't have to but that's just making sure that it is true lastly we can say get service replicated storage drop down replicated storage dot infect infected UI make sure your spelling is consistent of what you put in the replicated storage at the beginning of the video equals infected player dot player GUI 2000 years later alrighty guys well this should work in your game I'll go and release the script in the description below if you do get an error here saying that the player GUI does not exist don't worry about that you guys can always remove that line of code and just add a wait for child. It depend. It depends on how fast your PC is, uh, or how fast the server is running. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great time. Make sure that this disease thing only stays in the game, and you be safe at home. And I notice that there's going to be a huge demand for car dealership system using leader stats, and where you don't have to reset getting on that ASAP. You know, it's kind of rocky, so got to get on it ASAP, all right? Have a great day. Listen.